This is a diesel train. There are several different makes now in use, and some of them differ in details and in performance, for we are learning from experience and still developing them. However, they are all, generally speaking, very much like each other. This diesel unit is made up of two vehicles, a driving trailer and a power car. This is the power car. It is powered with two engines. Each engine is placed horizontally under the floor and is, in effect, similar to a bus engine. The complete set can be driven equally well from either end. Diesel trains are cheap to run and have a good performance. They are adaptable to traffic conditions, as at peak periods, two or three sets can be quickly coupled together. This is a driving compartment. A starting is simple, but even more impressive is the acceleration from rest. The driving controls are easy to use as they nearly all operate electrically. Few other vehicles give such a clear view ahead. In a very short time, you reach 40 miles an hour. Maximum speed is about 65 miles an hour, and at this speed, an automatic governor prevents the engines from going faster. You can cut down the engine speed and free wheel. Almost anyone could drive a diesel train after a short period of instruction, but they would not necessarily be a good driver. For good driving depends on experience together with a feeling for the machine. The best steam drivers developed a real feeling for steam and they could make their engines do better than the less skilled. The best diesel drivers are developing a similar feeling for a very different sort of engine. The brakes on these cars are outstanding. Just look at this. You can and should, of course, stop quickly and smoothly. Good brakes and rapid acceleration make these cars real time savers. Notice how few instruments are needed. Little more than one to show the speed you are traveling and another to show the speed of the engines. 
The other gauges show the state of the air systems. Now for a more normal stop. Development of different types and changes in the apparatus are inevitable, but a clear understanding of the basic principles will help a man to become a good diesel train driver. 